Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a short video entitled No Bass Tabs. And what I mean by that is from time to time, because I do some bass covers, uh, I get people that ask me, do you have the tab for that? And I say, you know, I did all the 100% of my bass covers are done by ear. I mean, I can actually I can read bass tabulations and I've been I've played or had to read bass music, you know, in the studio sometime when I was younger. But, you know, my ear is actually quicker than my reading when it comes to bass. Now, when I play my chords and read from uh, for guitar, it's quicker for me because I play guitar more often. But uh, it's much easier for me just to sit down and listen to the tune for once or twice. And then I can figure out the bass notes. Not a big deal. You know, so uh, it's pointless for me to tab it out because I don't need to. And uh, sometimes when it's a simple bass line with a pattern, I will put the notes on top over top of the sheet or the, or the or the video but you know usually when it's involved you know it's a lot of work to just sit down and tab this stuff and uh you know the point i want to make in this video for you beginners is don't rely on that tab crap stop being lazy and get a music teacher to teach you the right way because you're gonna spend a lot of years dabbling thinking you you know cutting corners all you're doing is hindering your ability to play well you know while other people are playing quicker than you because they took the route the right route you know i don't rely on that tab nonsense it's just some junk uh learn the old-fashioned way like the majority of people from my area that are professionals we learn by going to a music teacher and teaching us the basics because uh this is how i look at uh bass uh reading sheet music for bass and i'm i guess i'm kind of going to a little theory mode here i like to oh i like to call it logic when you look at standard bass notation from any book that you buy, it gives you the bass notes, but it doesn't give you what position those bass notes are being played on the recording. You know, because G right here sounds different from the octave G on the, on the, on the second fret, on the second string. and sounds different from the G on the A string down here, you know, on the A fret. You know, so uh, there are full score music that gives you the actual uh notes where they supposed to play on the neck of the guitar but you rarely ever see that so you're stuck with even once you're given the notes in the notation on the sheet music that, that you got to figure out according to the record is he's playing this g this g or this g you know so uh you're gonna have to rely on your ear anyway you know and after you start to take lessons your ear will develop and once your ear develops you're off to the races because you know, over the years, my ear has gotten better, you know, because I've been playing, you know, consistently for years. So uh, rely on lessons and then developing your ear because bass is the easiest instrument to play. You know, if you got to beg for tabs and, and, and can't figure out simple bass patterns, you know, it tells it tells everybody that you need to go get lessons, you know, like everybody else, because uh Unless you're playing some complex James Jamison stuff or some jazz stuff, because the way the jazz players play, they play scales, you know. And uh, when you get back around to the same part of the song, the bass player is probably on a different note because he's playing with it a key structure and just knowing that all these key, all these notes here he can play at any given time, he's not going to be out of key, you know. And that's what they do. And that's extremely kind of difficult to kind of sit down and tabulate because it's kind of I'm playing on the fly. You know, but the other style of bass playing as far as playing is just patterns. And I give you a good example. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. There are three patterns in that song. The first one is the main one. Da, 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 da. The second one, the change. Da, 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 da. Actually, it's only two. Just those two. Ba bouncing back and forth. And that's basically how most bass players play, unless, again, you're doing some jazz stuff or some complex stuff. But, you know, uh, when you got to ask for tasks for simple stuff like that, and, of course, it's simple to me because I've been playing and it might be difficult to the beginner. But the point, again, I'm making is go get lessons. Don't try to rely on somebody on the Internet watching their fingers to be a bass player or guitar player because you're not going to become that. You know, and, uh, again, I just try to stress that, that, to that to people and the younger people because you know somebody started this tab thing where you just put your finger here and you put it there and you put it there you want to know why you're putting your fingers there as opposed to just trying to memorize finger placements you know uh, you know so it's easier to go that route because once your ear locks in it's locked in for life you know you're able to hear and play whatever you hear on the radio 
because I mentioned in my video the other day about, you know, uh, how my ears gotten better and I tackled that Earth, Wind and Fire song that for years I just wouldn't even bother trying to play. And doing that same day, I said, you know what, let me see if I can take it to another level. Let me see if I can play the guitar part to, uh, I think it's Harry Nelson, Everybody's Talking at Me. And, uh, you know, I love that guitar part. Actually, it's like two guitar players going back and forth, I believe. But uh, I sat down and I listened to it. And I know the first part I got right as far as this is what he's doing. The second stuff, you know, as far as chords, uh, the chords are right, but the inversions might be a little different. But I'm like, you know, that'll work. And it worked. But again, I can't stress more. Stop relying on tabs and begging for tabs and get your physical music teacher and let him teach you what you need to learn. And then your ear starts to develop. And then you can hear these bass lines and all of these songs. Because, again, with the exception of jazz and some other types of, of, you know, busy stuff, bass playing is very easy. I mean, it's the simplest instrument to play. You know, so, uh, you know, that's my recommendation that uh, people do that as opposed to keep asking me for tabs because I don't tab this stuff. I just hear it, play it, then move on. You know, a lot of stuff I don't even remember. I got to go back and revisit it to kind of figure out what did I did on that last 400, 450 video. You know, so again, uh, old school way is the best way. You know, don't take shortcuts because it's going to show in your plan. You know, find you a musical teacher. There's some guys that you can find that will teach you for free. You know, there's some people that love to just show what they, they've learned and they, they're passing on to you for free. So it's not even an issue of spending a lot of money because there are a lot of guys out there. And I said this before in one of my earlier videos, and this might sound a little kind of wild or off the off the wall. But visit some nursing homes where people that, you know, used to be musicians back in the day that were pretty big, you know, named people. And, you know, I, I'm assuming in nursing homes, you know, uh, people get lonely, you know, uh, they don't interact with a lot of people. Their family members don't come as often. So they're more than willing to interact with people as far as showing you what I've learned. You know, I'm, I'm excited about showing you what I learned because ex I've always been excited about the music process. So you can go that route and find somebody for free that will teach you a, worth, a wealth of information and you can become a good player. Because again, and I'm going to end the video by just saying, stop asking for tabs. Learn how to play your instrument, you know. Till next time, take care.